Hey guys, all right, today I have a mat Pilates workout for you. It's gonna be about 60 minutes, maybe a little bit over with our stretch, okay? But we're gonna be using the red band today. So if you have a long red there band, if it's not red, that doesn't really matter. Really, that just signifies the weight or the uh, resistance of the band, okay? So this is about a medium to light weight band. Uh, you want it to be pretty long, okay? So mine's about, mine are cut 72 inches usually. Um, it doesn't have to be that long, but we're gonna be standing on it and it's gonna be in our arms. We have a quite an upper body focused workout today, okay? So we're gonna hit the whole body. There's definitely gonna be some fiery leg work in there, some fiery abdominal work always, okay? But we're gonna do a little bit more upper body focus today, all right? So hang with me. We're gonna get through it together. It's gonna get nice and sweaty. Follow my cues, but especially today, I want you to focus on your breathing. That red band is gonna help. And I want you to think about that through the entire workout. I will remind you, I will cue you, so just listen to my cues. All right, let's do it. We're gonna start with some core activation. So I haven't done this with you in a while, but we're gonna start on the floor before you go there, okay? We're gonna have the band a little different today. Usually I just have it around the mid back. Today we're gonna cross it, okay? So I want you to bring it right underneath the shoulder blades, okay? And then make a little X right in front of the body. Okay, so you've got a crisscross right at that solar plexus at the base of the rib cage. Okay, so right at that center. All right, come down onto the floor. You're gonna be in a four-point kneeling position. Okay, so that band, the tails of the red band are underneath your hands. You're gonna have those knees directly underneath the hips, okay, and the palms or the wrists right underneath the shoulders. All right, in this position, we're gonna breathe into the red band. So I want you to start to think about breath and that's gonna be a focus with that band today. On your inhale, we're gonna breathe outbound into the red band. So I want you to try to open up the band wide. And then exhale all that air out. Again, you're gonna inhale, breathe into the red band. So you wanna to try to open up the band. This is something you will not see in my body. You won't see any change. So it's all internal. I want you to feel those ribs, okay, start to meet the band and open the band just a little bit. Exhale all that air out. Good. So while you're doing this, okay, I also want you to think about lifting up out of that shoulder girdle. Okay, belly button is pulled up and in. We're breathing wide. Ribs go wide into the band. And then we exhale all that air out. One more time, just like that. Inhale. Exhale all that air out. Now we're going to turn those back toes under. Okay, so right and left toes turn under. We're going to find a hover. Now if that hover doesn't work, we keep your knees down and we do the same thing. On your inhale, we're going to inhale into the red band and pull those knees one inch off the floor. Hold it there. Same thing, breathe into the band, inhale. Exhale, all that air out. Good, inhale. Expand the red band. Exhale, don't let those knees move, let nothing change. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Now on your next one right here, you're gonna step those legs out into a plank. So your right leg, left leg, hold your plank, same thing, inhale. Practicing your inhale breath into the band. Exhale out, inhale, exhale out. Good, two more just like that. That is gonna be a focus. We're gonna have the bed red band wrapped like this a bunch today. So every time we do, I want you to remember the breathing into the band, just like this. Last one. Exhale. Step those knees in, set them down, and come on up, guys. Nice job. All right, so come on up. That band is gonna unwrap for right now. We're gonna start with it between the palms, and we're gonna start with a plie sequence. So I want you to wrap the band one or two times around the palms. You've got long red tails hanging. Feet are gonna go nice and wide, and I've got some decent tension on the band already. Wrists start underneath the shoulders, toes are turned out. We're gonna exhale as we take a plie, arms come up and overhead, and then inhale as you rise up. Good, exhale. It's been a while since I started this way with you guys. Plies are one of my absolute favorites, so 
Sometimes I get plie crazy, so I figured maybe, maybe take it out for a while, but I missed it. <laughs> Good. Now, I want you guys to remember that plie, torso stays upright, so we don't tilt forward. Okay, those arms, I want you to start to think about what's happening at the shoulder. As the arms come up and overhead, we're swiveling that arm in the socket, shoulder blades sink down the back, and then they come back to start as we rise. Good, those knees, they're tracking behind your toes. Okay, in front of the ankle, but behind the toes. So make sure those legs are nice and wide. Inner thighs open so that we get some nice depth on that plie. So I want you to try to open up your inner thighs a little bit more every time you go down. Yes, good. All right, we're gonna start to be holding this in four more. We're gonna take it to an around the world. Good, last three. Good, inhale as you rise, last two. So even though we don't have a red band around the ribs right now, I still want you to remember that breath. Good, this one is a hold, keep it nice and low, okay? From here, we're gonna go around the world, so we're gonna arch to the right, we're gonna lift up and over, find a side flexion through that left, roll through center, keep the pelvis quiet, up and over to the left and back, switch directions, up and over to the left. Good, round and roll through center. So we're working and articulating that spine, but we're not letting that pelvis move at all. Okay, the pelvis is quiet, the core is tight. Okay, that flexion through the spine might be a little less than you had in the past because we want to keep those legs and that torso or that, the hips stable. So keep them quiet as you round and roll through the stay low in your plie. Good. Find that reach. Good. We're going to go two more. So this time I want you to think about length. Lift up, ribs out of the pelvis. Round and roll through center. Good. Same thing. We're going to focus on the length to the left. Lift up and over. Yes, not your legs, just the torso and back through center. Now keep it low right here. We're gonna take those arms, and my right arm is gonna lengthen out into a T, and it's gonna come back, and we're gonna go other side, left arm. Good, so if you need to adjust the tension on your band, go ahead and do that. Okay, I don't want it to snap on you, but I don't think so, these bands are pretty fresh. Good. Excellent, you guys. All right, so you should be able to see those arms out of your peripheral vision. When they are up and overhead, my bicep is always in front of my ear. It is never behind. Okay, we want to think about those ribs closed. Good. All right, we're going to add the heels into this. So the next time you lower your right arm, your left heel will pick up, and then we'll bring it back to start and switch. Right heel, left arm. Yes. Notice that my elbows are not locked out. Okay, I've got them a little bit soft. Good, we're low in that plie. Can you sink a half an inch lower? Good, and we're really working on recruiting that inner thigh to pick up that heel. Good, you guys, nice and smooth. The height of my plie does not change, okay, as I pick up that heel. Start to feel those shoulders and those triceps a little bit. Last four, we're coming into a pulse. Good, you guys, last three. Last two. Excellent, you guys. All right. The next time you have your right heel lifted and your left arm low, hold it there. Pulse your plie. Little lift and low. A tiny little lift. Good. I want you to think about those inner thighs like a little pair of tweezers. Pulling up and into the pelvic floor and low belly. Good. Belly button's pulled up and back. You're here for six. Ooh, arms are getting a little shaky. Last five. Good, you've got four. Inner thighs open for that pulse. Last two. Good, stay low. Bring that left arm up, set that right heel down. Switch, left heel up, right arm down. Hold, little pulse. Those little tweezer lifts. Good, inner thighs pull up and in. Good, then they open. Think about opening the inner thighs as you pulse down. Good. 
Keep breathing. Pull that belly button up and back. Good. Six. Last five. One more layer here, guys. Four. Last three. Yes, you've got two. Hold it here. Keep your heel up, but bring your arms back up. So both arms are overhead. Right heel is going to pick up as well. We're going to hold it right there. We'll find a balance. I lost, lost mine. Pulse out on the band. Little pulse out. Good. Yes. Now I want you to bring that pulse all the way down around the ribs. Find your mid-back. Yes. Pull the belly button up and in. Keep the inner thighs opening. Ooh, keep that balance. I'm losing mine. Good. You got it. We're here for six. Last five. Good. You've got four. And three. Last two. Woo. And last one. Set the heels down and come on up, you guys. All right. We're going to keep working on those arms. We're going to start with the left arm. So, that red band, one tail, is going to come down onto the floor. Okay? Once you've got it there, you're going to step onto that red band. We're going to have our feet shoulder width apart, toes pointed forward. Okay? So, the band's underneath the balls of my feet, so I've got some nice grip. My left hand has the band. Okay? And I'm going to give it a nice wrap so that when my arm is down, there is no slack in the band. Okay? There's no slack. It's nice and tense already. Okay, right hand can come to the hip. All right, we're gonna start working that left arm. I want you to turn the, pop, the palm forward. We're gonna bicep curl and down. Good, bicep curl and down. Yes, good, so we're keeping that left arm in parallel. My left elbow is right at my waistline, but it's not jammed in there. Okay, we've got a little bit of space, a little bit of breathing room. Good. We're going to be here in a minute. So I want you to start to think about the core. The core is pulled up and in. It's engaged as we work here. It's going to help that arm, okay, so that we don't just leave, leave all the work to the arm alone, okay? We don't want the core checked out. We want it engaged. So pull that belly button up and in. Good. We're going to exhale as we curl. Inhale as we lower. Good. Six. Right here. We're going to take this bicep curl into external rotation in five. Good. You've got four. Good. Think about those shoulders. Okay. They're not hiked up by the ears. They're down and back. Last two. Good. Ribs are closed. Excellent. All right. On your next one, we're going to come into a 90 degree bend for our swivel. We're going to take this left arm now from the top of the shoulder. We're going to swivel it out to a 45. Now we're going to go down for that bicep curl and back up. So full range of motion right here. I like taking that swivel when the arm is bent, okay, because I feel like it's a little bit more obvious in the body what's happening. When the arm is long, can't really see it, can't really feel it as much. Good. Same thing, full range of motion. So. Make sure you got enough tension on that band that you're feeling. It should feel trembly, okay, as you start to lower the arm. Yes. All that connective tissue is firing. Okay, the muscles are going for that slow, eccentric release. Good. Core is tight. Good. We're going to take this into arm extensions, bicep extensions in six. Good. Last five. We're going to take the arm back to parallel for that. Good. Four. Good, we've got three. Excellent, you guys. Good. Last two. All right. Last one right here. Then we're going to swivel that arm back to parallel. Good. As you release, hold that 90-90 bend. Swivel the arm back to parallel. Now that arm is going to extend forward and back like you're delivering a platter. So palm is still facing up. Yes, elbow comes right back to the waist. Yes, if you need to adjust your red band. Now sometimes it starts to cut off the circulation to the fingers. I'm going to adjust mine. Good. I do like the red band, though, for arm work because there's tension pretty much the entire time. So the body has to work and engage. Good. Excellent. Elbow comes back to the waist, but it doesn't come behind the waist. 
Okay, think about that side seam. Okay, stop it right there. Yes, good, we got six. We're taking it into external rotation. Longer layers here, we're here a little longer today. Last five. Good, we've got four. Last three. Good, find full extension of that inner elbow. Last two. Good, resist the urge to twist your body. Good, let's go one more. Good, the next time you have that arm in that 90-90 bend, let's swivel it back to external rotation. Let's take it out and bring it in. Good, take it out and bring it in. Now remember, it's not going directly out to the side. It's a 45 degree angle away from the body. Yes, good. Core is still engaged, right? We didn't forget about that. We want to pull that belly button up and in. Good. All right, here we are. We got some pulses to do. We're here for six. Good. Last five. Good, you guys. Good. Hang on to it. Four. Good. Last three. Getting those arms toasty right from the beginning. Good. Last two. On your next one, hold it out there, pulse it up, up, yes, little one inch lift and lower, good, core is tight for this, pull it up and in, yes, good, eight, seven, six, Woo. five, four, taking it back to parallel, but we're going to keep the arm out there, last two, hold it right there, swivel back to forward, Pulse it up, up, yes, up, up, good, six, five, four, we're going to go into a cross body reach in three, good, last two, arm is going to come to a half T with the elbow bent, good, last one, pull the elbow in, okay, now that elbow is going to come up, palms going to face down, okay, elbow out to the side, we're going to reach across the body with a twist, and bring it back. This is where it should start to feel pretty shaky. Reach it across. Find that twist of the left rib basket. And then bring it back. My hips, they're quiet. Good. Find full extension of that elbow. Reach. Good. And back. Good. My fingers are all good. <laughs> good, you guys. Last four. We got one more thing here. Good, last three. Try not to let that shoulder height. Keep it low as you twist. Last two. Woo, shaky, shaky. Last one. Woo, bring it back. All right, bring that arm long and low for a second. Re readjust the band if you need to. Palm is going to face you now. Okay, we're going for a front raise. That left arm lifts and lower. Good. Lift. And lower. All right, we're going to add a little piece right here. So the next time that you lift, you're going to swivel that arm out to the side and lower. You're going to lift front brace, lateral reach, and down. Good. Front brace. Palm is always facing down or you. Yes. Excellent. So we're getting that little swivel right through the shoulder a little bit more. All right, here we are. Last six. Last five. Good, you guys. Last four. Good. Course tight. Good. Last three. Yes. And two. Ooh, that band's going to change position. It's going to come back around the ribs. The next time your arm is right here in the T, hold it. Pulse. Little pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and bring it all the way down, you guys. Woo, roll it out. All right, take that band up from the feet. It's coming back around the ribs with that little X. Okay, so wrap it around that mid back. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, here we go. Right at that solar plexus is where we make the X. Okay, we're going to turn to the left. Left foot forward, right leg back. All right, now your arms, they're going to be out in a low V. Okay, so that's how they're going to be, but right off the chest in front of the body. 
So palms are facing down. I've got some good tension on the band already, okay? From here, we're gonna lift and lower out of the lunge. So my back knee, my right knee, is gonna dip and lift. Good. Yes, you guys, so stay, stay tall for this one. You want your sternum over your pubic bone. We wanna pull that belly button up and in. Good. Arms are just in that isometric hold right now. I know that left arm is tired, so if you need to reset, if you need to get rid of the red band for a while, that's fine too. Good, we're here for four. Woo. Last three, remember your breath now. Breathe into your band when you inhale. Last two. Good. All right, the next time we bring that back knee down, it's gonna come to the floor and stay down. Okay, untuck the toes. So right toes become flat. From here, arms are gonna stay long, but we're gonna twist to the left like a helicopter. Come all the way back through center and twist to the right. Good, back through center. Twist to the left. And back through center, twist to the right. So you're going both directions. Okay, when you twist to the left, I want you to imagine your right ribs getting closer to your left inner thigh, okay? So I want you to feel that twist in the body. Good, when you twist to the right, don't let your right hip move back. Keep it forward. Last four. Those arms are still in a V. Yes, you guys, last three. Good, you guys, good, to the right. Last two, so we're counting right and left as one. Inhale as you twist, so breathe into your band when you twist. Good, last one. Last one to the right. All right, now, back toes, turn them under. You know what's coming. If the hover is too much today, you keep your knee down. All right, from here. We're gonna inhale, hover that back knee one inch off the floor. My palms are gonna face forward, arms out to the side, we're gonna hug a tree. Good, so open and close, yes. Good, exhale when you close, inhale when you open. Exhale, inhale, good. All right, stay here. Think of those inner thighs like a pair of tweezers. Okay, send your left sits bone, the center of your left glute, send it back away from your left kneecap. Send your right hip, your right hip bone forward. Find that little twist so that you're, you're square. You're facing directly forward. Last four. Woo, we're gonna change those arms, but we're gonna hold that hover. Last three, you need to set the knee down, that's okay. Last two. That left arm is trembling, right? Good, on your next one, you're gonna bring your palms to your forehead. So my fingertips are touching, my palms are facing away from me. We're gonna salute, bring the arms forward, like you're diving, and back. Dive, and back, hold your hover, can you get a half an inch lower? Reach your left glute away from your left kneecap. We're gonna pulse this hover. We're here for six. Good, last five. Good, you guys, last four. We're gonna hold the salute in three. You got it, you got it, last two. Woo, boy. All right, on the next one, hold your salute, hold that dive. Right here, inner thighs like a pair of tweezers. One inch up and one inch down, yes. Pull them up and in. Pull that belly button closed, yes. Ribs are closed. Last eight, seven. Heel is heavier than your toes on that left foot. Last four, and three. Last two. And set that back knee down, guys, and come all the way down to the floor. Keep your band. Keep your band how it is. It's still in that X. 
you're going to come into a plank position, okay? Or we're going to start in a four-point wheel. All right, so let's get into that four-point position. We're still going to be working the left arm. Okay, left arm and right leg. So, toes are not turned under, knees are under hips. Let's pull the belly button up and let's roll the shoulders back. All right, from here, my left arm and my right leg are going to reach. So it's an inhale, reach, bird dog, and bring it back. Good. Inhale, reach, and bring it back. We've got a little combo move, so we've got two more like this. Reaching for length. Good. Last one. Okay, we're going to come back to the four point position. Take your legs out to a plank. Four jumping jacks with the legs. So it's one, two, three, four. Knees in and down. Four bird dogs. Right leg, left arm. And back. Right leg, left arm. And back. So it's only that one side. Reach. If those plank jacks are too much, we're going to step them. Okay? I want you to go for the jumping jack if you feel like you're, that's okay in your body today. Step the legs back. It's either four jumping jacks or a step and a step. A step and a step. Pull the knees in. Set them down. Left arm, right leg. Reach four times. Keep those hips square to the floor. Breathe into your band as you extend the leg and pull it back. Inhale, reach. Good. Bring it back. Let's step out to our plank. Four plank jacks or steps. Four, three, two, one. Bend the knees under the body. Reach. Pull it in. Good. My left hand comes back to the floor. My right knee grazes the floor. Two more. Good, you guys. Woo, and reach. Here we go. Step it back to that plank. Four jumping jacks. One, two, three, four. Knees down last time. Reach. Find that length. Inhale as you reach. Into that band. That internal length happens. The diaphragm drops. Last two. Woo! Last one. Pull it in. Back to that plank. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Set those knees back under the hips. And come on up, guys. Nice job. Nice job. All right. We're coming on to our back. Keep the band how you have it with a little X. Okay, we're going to come into a bridge sequence. So all the way down on your back. So I don't lose my mic here. All right, you guys. Now, that band. Your arms are going to come up over the chest, okay? So from here, we're going to start with just the bridge. My feet are hip-width distance apart, okay? My heels directly underneath the knee, okay? And from here, we're going to inhale as we lift the bridge. No arms because the arms are up over the chest. Exhale as you set the tailbone down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Good. So your entire foot is connected to the floor. Okay, your toes are down, but your heels are heavier than your toes. Okay, so we get a little bit more up into the glute. Good. Now, as we lift, we don't let the inner thighs open. Okay, we keep the knees directly off the hips. Let's go for four more. The hips are going to hold up there for a while. But we've got four right here. Good. Tailbone taps down. Last three. Inhale as you lift. Exhale as you lower. Good. Last two. Finding lots of length on the front of the body. Good. Last full one. Up and down. Good. Now on your next one, you're going to hold that lift. Reach it up there and hold. All right. From here, 
my arms. They're going to come up and overhead and back to chest height. Good. Now you can increase that range of motion. We can bring the hands towards the thighs. Okay, and then up and overhead. If that feels comfortable. I know the band is in a little bit of an odd position. Okay, I want you to kind of ignore that it's rubbing on the front of the body or anything like that. I want you to ignore that. I want you to focus on the lift of the body. Okay, so the length on the front. And that swivel through the shoulder. Good, you guys. Just that overhead reach to start. If you need to adjust the grip on the band, get a little more tension, do that. Holding the bridge up there, so those glutes are there engaged. You're here for four. Good. Don't worry if that band is sliding down. Don't worry about that. Okay? Last two. Good. Inhale as the arms go overhead. Exhale back. Now we're going to stop them at the chest. We're going to pull the elbows down. Okay? And then we're going to chest press up. So elbows come to the floor. And then we press it up. So I just made my band tighter. Okay? So I had a little bit more tension. My palms are facing forward. My fingers are all crumpled up, so don't worry about your fingers. But your palms should be facing forward, okay? We're pressing up from that underarm height. Good. Still lifting up through that bridge, finding lots of length. You're inhaling as you lift, as you press. Exhaling as you lower the elbows. Good. All right, we're going to add on here, but we've got four. Woo Good, last three. Excellent, guys. you got two. Hold it up there. Good. On your next one, you're going to press the arms up. You're going to open them to a T and pull the elbows in. Press it up. Chest press up. Open to a T. And pull the elbows in. Good. Now that band's going to get tight around the wrist. I want you to breathe into it. Good. Inhale. Exhale as the elbows pull in. Press it up on your inhale. Exhale into your T. Inhale. Bring the elbows in. Good. Hold it there. Last four. Good, you've got three. Hold that bridge. We're not going anywhere. We've got two. We're going to work on some diagonal sling work, so connecting that diagonal link through the torso. On your next one, you're going to hold those arms up and over the chest. Adjust that band if you need to. I was cutting off some circulation. All right, hold it up there. From here, we're going to pick up the left knee, so I'm going to have you narrow your stance. Bring your feet closer together, okay? The left knee is going to lift as the right arm reaches overhead and left arm reaches low. Okay, so you've got a diagonal reach with the band, and my left knee is up. Bring it back. Switch. Right knee lifts in a bent position. Left arm reaches over the head. Right arm reaches long and low. Switch. Okay, so you're working on that oppositional reach, and we're marching those legs. Holding the bridge. We're never setting the bridge down. Good. That stance is narrow. Now, when you bring the feet down, they're close together. Okay, where before they were hip-width distance apart, now they're not. Okay, they're closer than that. Good. Hold it here. You've got four. Good, last three. We're going to add a leg extension in two. Woo. Okay, you guys, good. Last one like this. All right, on your next one, you're going to lift that right leg, left arm overhead, same movement. Now you're going to extend the leg long, hold. That right leg is going to tap and lift. Tap. And lift. If you need to reset your body, do that. Okay? I want you to reach for length on the front body. I want you to think about your hip bones staying level as you lift and lower that right leg. Okay? Arms are reaching in opposition. 
that left shoulder, it's internally connected to that right inner thigh. Okay? So as you lift that leg, I want you to think about that connection inside the body. Pull that belly button in. You've got four. Good. Last three. Woo, last two. Hold it up there. We got the other side. Good. Last one. Bend the knee. Bring that right foot down to the ground. Bring the arms back to start. Here we go. Left knee comes up. Reach the right arm overhead, left arm low. Extend the left leg, hold. Lift and lower. Good, lift and lower. Yes, hold it here. Square off those hips. Both of those hip bones should be shining straight up. We're not twisting. Good, my right heel is heavier than my toes, but my toes are down. Good, find that long length as you lower that leg. Good, find that reach. Inhale as you lower. Exhale as you bring it up. You've got six. Woo, last five. We're moving on a little heavier into those abdominals. Last four. Good, you've got three. Last two. Woo, last one. Bend the knee. Bring the foot to the floor and set your hips down, guys. Nice job. Keep your band exactly how it is, okay? Reset. Body goes long. All right, legs are out in front of you. They're a little bit separated, like four inches apart, okay? We've got the band up and over the chest. We're going to come for a full roll-up, all right? So on your exhale, let's inhale to prepare. Exhale. We're going to nod the chin to the chest, start rounding the spine, and we're going to lift all the way up onto the sitting bones. Band comes up and overhead. Good. Exhale. Round the tailbone, the low back, the mid back, all the way down to the shoulder blades beneath the floor. Shoulders come down, head comes down, and we start again. Exhale. Round and curl. Pull it up. Belly button scoops up and in. Good. You sit nice and tall in those sitting bones before you inhale. And you start to roll it all the way down. With control. With control. Good. Let's go for two more like that. Exhale. Round and curl. Take it nice and slow. All the way up. Lift up onto those sitting bones. Find that deep articulation to the spine. And down. Inhale as you take it down. Breathe into that band. Good. Last one. Exhale. Chin to chest. Shoulder blades up. Scoop the belly button up and in. Lift it all the way up. Reach out of those sitting bones. Now, from here, we're not going to go all the way down. We're going to roll just halfway. So we're going to scoop the tailbone, the low back, the mid back, and we're going to hold it right here. Now, arms are going to come to about underarm height. All right, still in that V. We're going to hover the left leg. So my left leg's going to lift, point the toes. Now, staying right there, we're going to pull the right hand to the left ankle. So it's going to be a twist and a lift, and back. Twist and lift, and back. Yes. Twist and lift. Yes, so your right ribs, I want you to breathe into the band when you go for the twist. So breathe. Right ribs, try to meet that left inner thigh. And back. Breathe. Inhale. Good. Reaching for those toes. I don't expect you to touch them. That's just the direction I want you to reach. Good. We got six. Good. Last five. Woo. Last four. Good, you got three. Pull that belly button up and in. Last two. Woo. Last one. Bring it all the way back. Don't come up. Left heel goes down. Right leg hovers. We're going right onto the other side. It's a twist and lift. Now we're twisting the other way. Left rib basket tries to meet that right inner thigh. Good. You're pulling up into a tighter V. And we're inhaling as we twist. Into the band. Good, you guys. 
That inhale engages the abdominal muscles all the way around the torso. So that's why it's great. If you can get that inhale at the right part of the movement, you're going to start to engage that core so much deeper. Good. Six. Woo, we're almost there. Last five. You know we're going to hit both legs. Last three. Woo. Last two. Good. Don't let it go, guys. Last real good one right here. Inhale. Good. Hold your half roll. If you need to reset, that's okay. Come up and reset. We're going to pull the right knee up. Bent position. Left knee up. Bend position. Find that little half teaser. Okay? We're going to extend the legs. Reach for the ankles. And bring it back to a bent position. Good. Extend and reach. Yes. And bring it back. Good. If that's too much, keep the legs bent. Okay? If you're there, great. Just tap your feet up and down. Okay? Instead. If you can go for that extension, reach for those ankles. Good. Shins become parallel to the floor every time you bring the knees back to a bent position. Let's go for four. You got this. Last three. Right here. Tighten that V. Good. Last two. Oh, boy. Whew. Everything's shaking. Good. On your next one, we're going to hold the teaser. Hold. Arms up by your ears and down. Up by your ears and down. This is it. Four. Good. Last three. You got it. Last two. One more. And bring it all the way down, you guys. Oh, shaky. Shaky, shaky. All right. Let's flip over. You're going to flip over and face the floor, okay? And really close. So you have those last two standing. Exercise. All right, we're going to do some slow push-ups right here. So, your knees can stay down if you want that extra support today. Hands are going to come to the floor. Okay, red band is still in that X. We're going to lengthen out to our best plank. We're going to hold. We're going to pull that belly button up and in. And now we are going to lower our push-up on a five count. So we're here. Five, four, three. Two, one, press it up. I never hit the floor. Five, four, three, breathe into your band. Two, one, press it up. Guys, three more like that. Five, four, three, two, one, press it up. Two more times, guys, you got this. Knees can always come down. Five, four, Three, two, one. Press it up. Last one. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Press it up. Hold your plank right here. Take your feet the width of the mat. Okay, width of the mat. My right arm is going to reach and tap with the band and back. Left arm, reach and tap. And back. Right arm. And back. It's just a reach and tap. My feet are wider. They're more like shoulder width apart now. Good. Minimize your swivel or your shake through the body. Not the shake. I mean the, the shifting of the weight. Good. Keep reaching, tapping your fingers towards the top edge of your mat. You got six. Woo, last five. You've got four. This is it. Last three. Last two. Pound that belly button up and in. Last one. Hand back. Knees down. Woo! And take a child's pose. Woo! Just reach back. Keep that band where you have it. Okay? Just work on it. make sure. We're coming right into that plank jack. Okay? So roll up those wrists real quick. Okay? Because we're going to do that bird dog. Bird dog, four times. Plank jack, four times. Or step, okay? So, hands down, underneath the shoulders. Okay, find a nice grip on that band, whatever works for you. All right, from here, 
My left leg is going to lengthen and my right arm is going to reach. So it's going to look like this. Pull that belly button up and in. Inhale. Right arm, left toes, find the length. And pull it all the way back in. Last three. Good. You're inhaling for the leg. Inhale. Into your band. Exhale back. Good. Last one. Bring it back. Step back to your plank. Hold. Four, three, two, one. Knees under you. Here we go, that bird dog. Right arm, left leg. Reach. Exhale back. Good. Inhale, reach. Let those left toes drag across the floor until you find so much length that the leg lifts. Good. Woo. Last one. Pull it under you. Step back to your plank. Four jacks. Four, three, two, one. Knees back. Here we go. Reach. Yes, don't let that belly dump. Keep lifting up out of that shoulder girdle. Length from fingertips to toes. Inhale. Exhale. Good, one more. Exhale, bring it back, back to that plank jack. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Knees back. Woo, two more times, you guys. Reach. And back. Hip bones shine down. Good. Inhale out. Exhale back. Last one. And back. Step those legs back. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Knees back. This is your last time. Lengthen and reach. Exhale back. Good, inhale, reach. And back, last two. Feel those arms, right? Feel those arms. They're working in that plank. That core is working hard today. All right, you guys, right here, step it back. Last time. Four, three, two, one. Knees in. And come on up, guys. Woo, okay. All right, coming on up. That split lunge. Okay, so we're going to keep the band how it is. This is the last time it'll be like this. Okay, then we're going to change. So, right foot forward, left leg back. Okay? We're going to bring those arms out into a low V. All right, from here. We're going to lift and lower that lunge. Bending your left knee and right knee. Both knees bend. And up. Good. Exhale down. Inhale up. Keep the torso up. Shoulders are down and back. Ribs are closed. The band is great like this to remind you to keep the ribs closed. Good. Breathe into your band. So when you stand up, breathe wide into your band. Exhale all that air out. Take a look down and make sure that your right kneecap is tracking with the big toe, second toe. Okay, make sure that right knee is not coming in front of the toes. Good, that back knee strips straight for the floor. Woo, last four. Arms are in that low V, palms are facing down. Good, last three. We're gonna go for those helicopter twists. We got two. Good, keep sending that left hip bone forward and that right sits bone back. Woo, last one. All right, next one, we're gonna lower. We're gonna set the knee all the way down and untuck the toes. All right, arms are out to the side. We're gonna helicopter to the right first. On your inhale, left ribs to right inner thigh. And back to center, all the way to the left now. Don't let your hips move, inhale to the right. Exhale to center, inhale to the left. Good, your inhale is taking those ribs wide into that band. Good, every time you take that twist to the right, 
You want to think about the left ribs trying to meet up with the right thigh. Now, I don't mean dip down, okay? You want to stay tall, okay? But it's that connection, that pull. Good. Last three. Good. Two more. Inhale to the right. Exhale back to center. Good. Oh, those shoulders. Good. Last one to the right. Exhale to center. Last time to the left. We're coming into that hover. All right. Right here. Those back toes are going to turn under. We're going to think about those inner thighs like a pair of tweezers. Remember, you can always stay on the floor. We're going to exhale to prepare. Inhale, lift and hover. My palms are going to turn to face forward and I'm going to hug a tree. And open. Hug. And open. Now when I open, my ribs don't open. Okay, they stay closed. My arms never come behind my body. They stay in my peripheral vision. Good. You exhale as you hug and you inhale as you open. Exhale. Inhale. Keep reaching that left hip forward and that right sits bone back. You got it. Stay low. Ooh, boy. All right. We got four more right here. You got this. So close to the end. We got that right arm to work on. Last four. I think I already said that, right? Last three. Woo. Last two. I know you're tired, guys. Don't let it get sloppy. All right, on your next one, we're going to go for that hug, but now the palms are going to come up in front of the forward, front of the forehead. Palms face away from you. Fingertips are touching. Dive and bend the elbows back. Dive and back. Can you sink a half an inch lower in your lunge? Good. Can you reach your right sitting bone, right glute, further back? Yes. Hold it here for six. We're going to pulse that plie in five. Woo, we got four. Good. Last three. Good. Two more. You got this. You got this. With that band's <laughs> riding up. On your next one, hold your salute. Little pulse, little tweezer lift of those upper inner thighs. Pull it up and in. You've got it right here. Heel is heavier than the toes. On that right foot for six. And five. Woo, four. Last three. Standing up in two. And come all the way up, you guys. Woo, shake it out. Holy cow. Okay, band. It's coming out your leg, those feet. Right arm, this is it. Okay? Right band, or sorry, tail of the band underneath the feet. Feet are wide, parallel, toes forward. Okay? Right hand, we're gonna take wraps so that there's no slack on the band when the right arm is long and low. Okay? Woo! Left hand on the hip. Catch my breath. All right, <laughs> from here, we're gonna turn the palm to face forward. Bicep curl. Yes. Ooh, all right, now we're fresh here. So this should feel like a good breather right here. Good. So elbow is not jammed into the waist. Okay, with that red band, it's not as aggressive right off the bat as a dumbbell. It just increasingly gets harder though. Ooh. Excellent. Shoulders down. Okay, curling, contracting the bicep. So we shorten the bicep. And then we lengthen. Good. Six. We're going to take into that external rotation in five. Good. Exhale as you curl. Four. Good. Last three. Woo, we got two. Good. On your next one, we're going to curl but hold a 90 90 bend. Externally rotate from the top of the shoulder. It's down and up. Yes. Good. Pull that core tight. Yes. Exhale as you curl. Elbow is right at the waist. Or top of the hip. Woo. Excellent, you guys. Hold right, that control right here. Good. Last six. 
and we'll go into that extension. Good. Good time to focus on the music. Good. Last side. Woo. Good. We got three. Woo. Last two. All right, you guys. On the next one, you're going to hold the 90-90. Come back to parallel. Now we're going to deliver that platter forward and back. Now when you deliver that arm forward, I don't want you to twist. Okay, so we have tons of tension on the band. I have quite a bit of tension right now on mine. It wants me to twist. Okay, my torso wants to twist with the band. Don't let that happen. Keep the shoulders square. Keep the core tight. The core is resisting that band. Yes, that's where we're staying stabilized from, right from here. Open up that inside elbow. Yes, as you extend that arm, I want you to feel the shoulder blade drop down the back a bit. Okay, so it wraps the ribs as you take that arm forward. Woo! Yes, okay. We got six. We're going to go external rotation in five. Good, last four. Almost there. Good, last three. Elbow doesn't come behind the body. Stops at the side. Good, two. Woo. All right, next one, pull that elbow in. Externally rotate, 45 degree angle. Out and in. Good, this arm heated up faster. <laughs> A lot faster. He's tired from the rest of the workout. All right, we're here for six. Try to keep that wrist flat. Good, last five. Remember that elbow doesn't come behind the waist. Last four. Yes, that keeps the core working for you and not the shoulder taking over. Last two. Oh boy. All right, on your next one, you're going to hold it out there and we're going to pulse up. Up. Up, find that pulse. You got it. You got it. Right here. That little pulse. Tighten the core. <clears throat> yeah, six, five, four, three. Yes, two. Woo! Pull that right elbow back in. Swivel the parallel. Extend. Hold. Pulse. Yes. Right here. Pulse tight. It's a good song for this. Good. Eight, seven, six. Five, holy cow, four, three, last two, Woo, pull it in, take that arm to a half T, you might need to unwrap a little bit, okay, the arm's going to go across the body now, we're going to twist with it, inhale, rotate to the left, reach across the body with the right arm and come back, yes, elbow is at that underarm height, we reach it across and back. As you reach across, I don't want you to hike the shoulder, so take special notice of what's happening right there. Get that shoulder blade to cuff the ribs. This is where it gets real shaky. This is where it gets shaky. Woo! Hang on to it. All right, we got six. Good, there's that front raise this left, last one. Good, you've got four, remember that inhale. Exhale back. Good, last three. Good, you've got two more. Don't let it go. Good. Last one. All right, right here. Bring that arm long and low. Okay, reset if you have to. Going for that front raise. Palm faces you now. It's a lift and lower. Good. Lift and lower. Right, pull it up and in. Good. Yes, you guys. So close, here we go. We're gonna add in that little lateral movement. So on your next one, it's a lift to the side and down. Good, lift, side, and down. Yeah, that's it. Here we go, we got six. Good, last five. Excellent, you got four. Good, last three. Good, last two, we got a little squat sequence before I let you go. Good. Let's go one more right here, because I lost my count. Last one, forward, 
to the side, hold, pulse. Little pulse, this is it, right here. Eight, seven, six, five, oh boy, four, three, two, and bring it down, guys. Woo, roll it out. All right, take the red band between your palms. This is it before we stretch. Last thing. Make it nice and tense, okay? So you right arms underneath the shoulders, feet underneath the hips. We're going to find our very best squat. So on your exhale, you're going to reach those sits bones back, and your arms are going to come up and overhead, and you're going to hold it right there. Okay, from here, arms down and up. Down and up. Feel that swivel through the shoulder just like we did in the beginning with those plies. Same sensation. Shoulder blades fall down the back body and then they come back to start. My belly button is up and in. I'm protecting my low back. I'm reaching my sits bones back so my knees are behind my toes. Good. Woo. Last four. Good, stay low in your squat. Last three. We're not coming out of it. Last two. Good. On your next one, you're going to hold those arms up and overhead. Remember, biceps in front of your ears. Pulse out on your band. Pulse out. Open up. That's it. Good. We're going to hold the band open and hold the squat low. Full isometric hold in eight, seven, Find your back body right here. Six, five, four. Can you pull that belly button a little tighter? Last three. Yes, you can. Here we are. Last two. On your next one, you're going to hold it open on the band. Get a little lower in your squat. Hold it here for eight, seven. Keep your toes down. Six, five, four. Yes, three. Two, and bring it on up, you guys. Woo, shake it out, we're gonna stretch. Hang on, Meg, if you need to go, I understand. Okay, come on down to the floor. Use your red band. Bye, thank you. <laughs> All right, come down to the floor. Arms up and over, or arms wrap the band one more time. Here, stay on your knees. We're just gonna roll the band up and around the back. Good, opening up that shoulder. Good. Okay, so finding nice mobility through the shoulder. Good, just opening that up. Now as you open this up, your ribs are going to open up a little bit, but not a ton. Okay, I want you to keep your belly button up and in. Think about those inner thighs. Okay, pulling up and into the little belly. Last four. Good, last three. Woo. Last two. Good, one more. All right, next time you bring it up and around, we're going to drop the red band, okay? Stay on your knees just like this to start. We're going to take that right arm, and we're going to bring it across the body. It should feel really good right now. So, the shoulder is down your back, okay? The right ribs, okay, they're tight. Okay, you've got that shoulder blade cupping the rib. It's a gentle pull or press on the arm towards the chest. Good. Hold and breathe. Belly button's up and in. Good. Six. Last five. Good. Four. And three. Good. Last two. Good. Release that right arm. Left arm comes across the chest. Good. Find that pull. Gentle tug. Left shoulders down. Left shoulder blade cups the ribs. Good. That keeps everything tight here and engaged. Good, six, five, good, four, last three. Loosen all that up, stretching it out, last two. Good, let go, get this arm to a little, little swing on top of the shoulder. Good, right arm comes up and overhead. My left hand is going to grab my right elbow, and I'm going to reach those right fingertips down the back body. Okay, so just reach, reach, reach. Pull the ribs together. Good, stay tall. Try not to lean forward. You're here for four. Your head is gonna nod, that's okay. Three, last two. Good, release it. 
Left arm up and over. Bend the elbow. Good. Pull it down the back body. Fingertips reach down the spine. Hold it here. Find that gentle pull on the elbow for four and three. Last two. Good. Release that. Okay, last thing. Okay, we're going to come into a four point position, but first we're going to go for a child's pose. So take your knees, lift of the mat, reach your arms all the way out in front of you, and really press those underarms towards the floor. Hold it here. Two big breaths. Now remember that red band. Breathe into it for your breathing. Inhale. Expand your ribs. Exhale. Good. One more. Exhale. Good. Come on up. My right foot's going to come forward. Okay. Left knee stays down. You're going to take that left elbow to the outside of the right knee, and you're going to twist and look away. Look at those right fingers. Okay. There's a little bit of balance here, too. You don't want two points of contact. So... Find your center and twist. Allow that spinal twist to happen. Feel your right glute stretch out too for four. Last three and two. Good. Bring it all the way back to center. Let's switch legs. Right knee comes down. Left foot comes forward. Left foot is flat. Left knee stays behind the toes. Right elbow to the outside of the left thigh. We're going to twist and look away. Reaching your left sits bone back. You'll get a nice stretch through the glute, nice spinal twist, opening up the chest for four. Last three, final roll up is coming into. Last one. Come all the way back to center, both hands to the floor, both feet to the floor. Hang down over those soft knees. Okay, and on your inhale, you're gonna round and step that spine. One vertebrae at a time, scooping the belly button up and in. Head is the last thing to pick up. And you're all done. <laughs> nice job. All right, guys, you just finished another one hour, a little bit over, Matt Pilates workout. That was not easy, it was intense. All right, but you did it, you got through it. Congratulations, thank you for joining me. I love having you with me. This was a live recorded session, so if you hear me, speaking to the camera or speaking to a group of, of clients. That's why, because it's a live recorded session, I do these um, three times a week. So if you ever want to be a part of those, you can leave a message below in the comments. I will check, I check them daily, so I will always get back to you. I am Just P Fit on YouTube, but I am also Just P Fit on all social media channels, such as Instagram and Facebook, so you can find me there as well if you want to send me a message. I would love to hear from you. Any questions, comments, or concerns, I will answer you back. Please like this video, that helps me give you more videos, okay? And also, as far as props and equipment go, I have affiliate, an affiliate program with um, Balanced Body now. So if you go to my website, justpfit.com, there is a link to Balanced Body. Any products you buy through your website is 5% off for you through that affiliate link. All right, so check it out if you need a ring, a yoga block, um, some bands, Find them all there. All right, I'll see you next time.